Hello, so today we are going to do an OG video concept called what's in my handbag. This is likely the first style of video I ever filmed on my channel. So if that video is still up, I will link it here. It's probably at least 10 years old at this point, um, but I've always enjoyed watching these types of videos. I know a lot of you also enjoy watching these types of videos and I wanted to do one because, well, A, uh, some of you requested to see this particular bag and my thoughts on it because it was in my get ready with me video but I thought it would be helpful because it's a twofer you guys get to see what is in my bag and also I'll talk a little bit about this because even when I was making the decision to purchase this handbag I always like to watch YouTube videos or check out blog posts of maybe how people style it or what they can fit inside it and I had I gotta say there isn't really much on this size of bag. The lady bag comes in three sizes, the large, uh, a medium size, and then this size, which is the mini because it's the smallest size. And there were plenty of videos on the two larger sizes, but not many, if at all, any videos on the smallest size. And for me, I have been really loving smaller bags lately, so I was instantly drawn to this size over the larger ones. I love the style of the larger ones, but personally, I've just been really loving like the, the little mini bags. No, it doesn't fit as much as the larger bags, but for me, it fits everything I need. Before I get started, I'm going to first talk about the handbag a little bit and then talk about what I actually keep in the handbag. So I will put a timestamp somewhere on the screen that you can skip forward to if you're just interested in seeing what is in the bag. Just so I don't confuse you guys, I did double check the different names for the sizes for the lady bag. So there's the lady bag, which is the largest size, the mini lady bag, which is the medium size, and then the mini mini lady bag, which is the one that I have. So this is the mini mini lady bag. And this is also in the vegetable tanned leather in the colorway Camello. The lady bags, I believe, only come in two styles of leather, at least all year round. The vegetable tan leather, which is this one, and also the calf leather. So the difference really between the two is the calf leather is probably a lot more durable, um, but it also won't succumb to any patinaing, which I actually really like. I like when a leather looks worn and used, but if you don't like that, then this type of leather is not for you especially in the lighter shade. The vegetable tanned leather comes in three colors, black, brandy, and camello. The calf leather comes in lots of different colorways. They have, I think, a baby pink, a green, navy, it comes in just a lot more colorways. I personally like the vegetable tan leather, um, especially in this shade Camello because it patinas, meaning that it gets um, a little bit more tan as you use it, as it's exposed to the sun. Uh, the only downside though is that you will see scratches on it. Um, and on the back, I'll do up close shots of it, but you can see how it's worn against, let's say leather jeans. But for me, it just adds character. I don't personally mind it, um, but for some people who like to look at a very pristine bag, you're better off with the calf leather um, in this style. So this, as you can see, is a very structured handbag, especially in this size. If you have the larger version of this, it can look a little bit more slouchy um, just because of the size of it. Um, but in terms of the leather, the vegetable leather, really holds its shape pretty well. It doesn't slouch like a pebble or a lambskin bag would. Um, it does stay pretty structured um, even though you wear it often. This bag also comes with detachable straps. So it's in the same uh, vegetable tan leather in the same colorway. It does come also with gold hardware, which I think complements the um, colorway of the le leather really nicely. And it's detachable, which is great because if you don't want the strap, you can just take it off. If you do want the strap, you can leave it on. Usually I just use the strap when I'm carrying this crossbody, um, but sometimes I'll just hold it top handle style. Um, and leave the straps on, it doesn't really bother me. This does not have any zippers or button mechanisms. This flap is attached with this drawstring. So if I open this up, you can see here at the top, there is this leather um, kind of little 
loop here. That is where you would loop the drawstring through and that's how you close it. So it is cumbersome to open and close because it's obviously not as easy as a magnetic um, snap closure or a zipper, but once you get used to it, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Plus I also just typically leave the bag open like this so I never close it fully. Um, but as you can see, there is this drawstring that goes all around the bag that you can loosen. Now, of course, because of the size of this handbag, the opening only stretches out so much. So typically this is how I like to keep it. I don't like to uh, draw the drawstring in any further than this and I also don't like to stretch it out any further either because it's really moot at that point. This is typically how how I keep the handbag. So before I talk about what fits in here and what I keep inside this handbag, I just wanna talk about my personal pros and cons for this bag. So my first pro is that I love the size of it. Uh, for some people, this handbag is out because it's way too small, but it fits everything I need. But for me, it's just really easy to throw on and head out the door. I also really like the style of it. Um, I just think it's a mix between something that looks a little bit more formal and casual. You can wear it kind of both ways and it just is cute because it's a style that you don't, don't necessarily see that often. I also really like how it patinas so um, the color of it was definitely a little bit lighter when I first got it but the more I use it the more exposure it gets to the sun um, the more warm it looks and I just love when a handbag looks a little bit warm. I also really like the gold hardware it complements the bag really nicely. In terms of cons um, of course this type of leather uh, scratches really easily so if you want this handbag but you don't want it something that scratches very easily I would just get the calf leather um, and also if it can be a little bit cumbersome to open and close. Not a problem for me, but again, if you're looking for uh, something a little bit more convenient, then of course the closure is, uh, you know, a little bit cumbersome sometimes. One other con is that um, if you put on the strap in a particular way and it moves in a particular way, um, it actually will snap off. Not snap off, but it will come undone. It's very bizarre, but it's actually happened to me a couple of times. But, you know, if it just twists a certain way, it will actually just come off um, without that much effort. I'll try to replicate it for you guys, but it just happens in the most odd times. Um, for example, if the strap is kind of like tangled up and uh, I go to reach for it, if it's in the back seat or something, sometimes the uh, buckle will just completely undo, but it's only when it's positioned a particular way. So what I do to prevent it from being able to obviously unclip easily is instead of attaching the strap this way, I will attach it the opposite way. It's much harder to replicate that same movement when it's attached the opposite way. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how the bag looks on. This strap is adjustable. There are quite a few holes here so you can uh, adjust it to the perfect height for you. Personally, I prefer a handbag that kind of sits at my hip. So this is um, where I like it. I don't really want any higher or any longer because I am 5'3", uh, in case you are wondering. Um, so this is how it looks on very cute and again i really like the the color of the leather i think it looks very um spring summer-esque so this so this is how it looks here um again you can close this up by just putting the straps through here and so this is how the handbag looks closed Again, I typically don't close it um, because it is a bit cumbersome to open it and close it if you need to pay for anything. But if I have my phone in my hand and that's my method of payment, then I don't mind that it's closed. You can also just carry the handbag like this. So using the top handle and you can also put it over your wrist. Um, it doesn't really leave a lot of room, but the drop handle is enough so that you can fit your wrist through there comfortably. And I always, like I said, just keep the strap on. The straps are really easy to uh, take on and off. Um, so you can 
basically do whatever you want with it. And if you do remove the straps, these you can fold down or keep up however way you want it. So typically I just keep it open like this. It still offers um, a bit of protection because it's not like your bag is um, so open that um, people can just reach their hand in there. So yeah, the flap just kind of lays like that and um, how it looks. This looks really odd, but I just wanted to show you guys the sizing difference between the mini mini lady bag and the mini bucket bag. So this is the bucket bag. Obviously it's taller, but it's actually not that much wider. It definitely just holds a lot more because it's a rounder shape and it's also taller. Um, and this is the lady bag in comparison. Um, so yeah, I've had this for a while and I, I love how it still looks. Um, it's definitely worn in a few areas. It has its scratches, but again, it just adds character in my opinion. So that is how the two look um, size-wise. Okay, so what do I keep in here? So this is first of all the interior. So the interior is a pale pink patent leather. So one, it's really easy to um, clean and wipe down. Um, and so far I haven't really gotten any stains in there, but again, it's a really nice color combo. You can see I have everything in here pretty organized, mainly because you only have such limited space. So it's really hard not to be organized um, so most of the things are kept in this purple pouch here but this is what I have in there you can see how I store things mainly uh, vertically so everything's within reach and really easy to pull out so the first thing I have in here is my phone which is the iPhone 10s this is the smaller of the two sizes I don't feel like the 10s max would fit as comfortably in here this phone fits perfectly um, just vertically in um, the handbag. I also have my wallet, which is the uh, compact zippy, I believe, from Louis Vuitton. And I like this. I bought this in Paris, I think, two or three years ago now. And I've been using it ever since. And I just like it because it's very compact. So it fits in any handbag, whether I'm going for a larger tote or for a mini bag, that's why I went with this size. Plus I don't really carry a lot of cards or cash with me. So in my wallet, in case you're wondering, I have um, a debit card, a MasterCard. I have a Canadian Tire gift card um, for the Canadian Tire gas bar. It's uh, where I fill up uh, my vehicle. I have one of these real fruit bubble tea uh, stamp cards and I have, I need one more stamp to get a free drink. Um, if you're wondering what Canadian money looks like, this is a $10 bill. It's the only Canadian cash I have in my wallet. This is actually a newer version. I have a driver's license and a health card and I also have some miscellaneous cash. So I still have some euros from when the Bo and I were in um, Portugal and then I have some US dollars, I think probably from November. So that is really all I keep in here. Um, my credit card I keep in this middle slot. Oh, I also have coins. So a toonie, so a $2 coin and 10 cents. So it fits everything I need it to fit. And like I said, I don't really carry too many cards on me. Um, I don't even really use my credit cards in here. I usually pay with Apple Pay, so my phone, but I still keep it just in case whatever store I'm going into doesn't accept Apple Pay. My car keys are usually at the bottom of my handbag and it's because I rarely ever need to actually use it to unlock my car because my car um, has a convenience entry. So as long as the key is on you and you approach the vehicle, it will unlock and start automatically. So I'm never really uh, fiddling for my keys, which is good because because um, this handbag would not be really super conducive to that because it's such a tight fit. I also have a power bank and an Apple Watch charger. So this was from Costco. I think I bought two in a package and I like it because it will fill my phone up or recharge my phone twice. I think it has enough to charge my phone twice from about 20%. I also have an Apple Watch charger because I, well, have been using an Apple Watch for a really long time. So that is essentially one side of my bag. Um, everything else I'd like to keep in this. There are a couple of loose items in the bottom of this bag, but this is what it looks like. So I have a stainless steel straw. Uh, most places in Ontario don't carry the straws or they have those um, sh uh, paper straws, which 
because I'm a slow eater, uh, they always end up really gross and soggy. <laughs> so I usually bring my own straw. I also have a TTC token, so that's to use um, the subway. And then I have these two wipes that I use to actually clean the face of my phone. So this is what the bag looks like empty. So as you can see, there's the pink patent leather all the way through. There is this little um, pouch here, which I don't keep anything in other than, oh, apparently, a McDonald's um, coffee stamp thing. Uh, it's a really tight uh, pouch here, so there's nothing, not a lot that really fits in there. So sometimes I'll put um, like a $5 or $20 bill in there. Anyway, in order to keep everything in this bag tidy um, and also to make it easy just to migrate from one bag into another, I have this mesh container, which I'm actually not sure where this came from. Um, I feel like I bought it abroad somewhere, but it's where I keep all the miscellaneous things. So I like it because it's really structured and also it has um, a zipper to keep everything in one place. And um, because it's so structured, I can just leave it on a counter and yeah, it doesn't uh, go all wonky or weird. I have a cleaning cloth. So I usually use this for glasses. I have a hair clip. I think I got this from YesStyle. I've been really into like hair clips lately. So I have a few of them that I've been kind of playing around with. I have a bunch of lip products. So I have the Fenty Beauty Hint Hint Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. I like this lip balm a lot and I also really like the packaging because it is a doe foot, which is nice because um, it's really easy to apply. The Laneige Berry Lip Glowy Balm, which is great because it's moisturizing on the lips but also gives your lips a little bit of a tint. And then the lipstick I'm wearing today is the Marc Jacobs Eat Cake, which is um, just a really nice like peachy nude color. I also have glasses. So I need glasses to drive at night or when I'm seeing in the distance. So if I'm a meeting or something and need to see the board, um, I will use the glasses. And because my handbag is so small, I can't fit a traditional um, eyeglass case in there. So I have a pouch and the ones I'm wearing today are from Bon Look. These are the Illusion glasses in the colorway marble. No, not marble. I've already forgotten. I think blonde metal. Anyway, I really like them. I like the shape of them. I also really like the colorway. The hand cream is the Lano Coconutter Hand Cream Intense. So I really like this, especially for my cuticles. My skin has been really dry lately, so it's been nice. Last miscellaneous things is a lightning cable to charge my phone if I need to. I have two hair elastics. So one is for, from Invisibobble and the other one is the Silk uh, Mini hair elastic. And I just have an irrational fear of not having a hair elastic around me and needing to put my hair up or something. So I always carry two just in case. Tweezer min tweezers. These are just mini ones in case I need to pluck an eyebrow or get something. Of course, because it's summer, just all year round, I like to carry an SPF with me. In the summer, I've been using this invisible setting powder from Supergoop. And I like this because one, this is refillable, so it's tinted, so I just use it to set my face and also um, just reapply SPF throughout the day. And also, because sometimes you think this is kind of really grungy and unsanitary, this brush is actually magnetic, so you can take it out and clean it and wash it and then plop it back in there. And I usually do that once every couple of weeks. And then the last thing I keep in my handbag is always a pen. This one is my favorite pen. It is from Jetstream. It is not readily available in Canada. I buy mine from jetpens.com. You can also find it on Amazon. And it is one of those uh, multi pens. So it's a four in one, technically a five in one. So it has a mechanical pencil. It has red, green, blue, and black ink. And yeah, it's really nice. I love the Jetstream line of pens because they're so smooth and the ink is so nice. This one is in 0.5 millimeters. I prefer 0.38. Um, but the great thing about these is that the ink cartridges are refillable. So you can actually buy the replacements on jetpens.com. And um, yeah, you can choose whatever 
I guess, width that you want. Anyway, that is what I keep in my handbag. Um, this is it completely empty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you are interested in this handbag, I would recommend it. But again, just be aware, um, you know, pick the right size for you. Uh, pick the right type of leather for your lifestyle or your preferences because this particular one does, it's prone to scratches. So if you're not into that, you're, you won't love this bag. Um, but if you think that, that just adds character, then you probably will like it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.